Hi. Hey guys, how you doing? Share beer 334, man. Ooh. And uh we got Mark here from Atlanta. Hot land. Well, and actually it's nice Atlanta now. It's oh. uh, little break it's like 80 degrees and humidity went away it's like a perfect day today first mm. perfect day we've had in a while so humidity's all gone well for the next couple days i'm sure it'll come back yeah. so what is dry over there oh dry is probably anything under 40 percent humidity <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's it, 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 like, it, wow it's so dry here it's so man yeah like my towel you know it, it dried out in like two days. It was amazing, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's the air is so dry. Yeah, that's that's the same uh, extreme as Colorado in their uh, session beers, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's the same kind of extreme because it. It. I'm gonna check because I'm curious at how humid it is here today, because it was. Yeah, it's showtime, and it's still only a hundred. Wow! And that's you know something for this place. Mm -hmm. If it's uh you know right at almost high noon, and you're or what wait uh you know that, that, well right now it's prime time for like top of the heat of the day. Mm -hmm. Sixty percent dew point. Yeah, okay. for, for you that's got to be absolutely nothing. For here, that's like, are you serious? Yep. And uh twenty seven percent humidity. Wow. Okay. Humidity that's pretty low. Twenty seven is low. <laughs> yeah. Mark's like, wow, those numbers are great, you know. And mm -hmm. for here we're we're you know, we're dying. People are, you know, like carry extra water, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a, it is a trip though, how the temperature can be lower. You know, it probably was because in, in the middle of your day like this, what is it, at four or five, mm -hmm. it's not quite as humid as it is when it's oh yeah, like, like five in the morning. Yeah. I mean, as temperature goes up, usually humidity drops. Mm -hmm. But that, that's when, you know, it's brutal when you got, you know, when it's middle of the day hot and the humidity still stays, mm -hmm. you know, like we had last week, it was like, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon. It was all well, Saturday. It was like 90 degrees. And the dew point was 76 or something. So the humidity was, you know, in the 80s, 80% 80 oh. humidity, you know, with almost 90. It was almost, it was like a 90, 90 day, you know, like the humidity and the temperature are the same. Oh, screw uh, that. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I, I wanted to ask you something. Have you, I've been looking purposely my last few, uh, what do you call them, beer searches or whatever, you know, you're... <clears throat> And I cannot find Sam Adams light. I've seen it. I've seen it in the store. I haven't, I haven't bought it in over a year, but I have seen it in the store within the last couple of weeks here. Oh, have you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe they've got a shortage. Yeah. I was, I was like, what the hell? Because I even went to Total Wine. Mm -hmm. No Sam Adams light. Huh. Um, you know, and they kind of, kind of have everything, you know. And then mm -hmm. I went to uh, Bevmo, no, no Sam Adams Light. Uh, well, uh, if you can't get Sam Adams Light, you got to get PBR. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kind of on a thing to try to find the best light beer. I don't want to sell a commercial. Probably, I mean, I've out of all the light beers I've had, that's probably the best, the most flavorful one. Most you know, flavorful, so. right? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely got a lot of, uh, um, got a lot of flavor and it's a good beer. Yeah. I was like, there's no self shelf space for Sam Adams light. Oh, I would think so. I don't know. It's been, it, it, seriously, it's been really, I've been looking for at least a month, you know, off and on here and there mm -hmm. on my different, <clears throat> um, what do you call that? Oh man. Uh, beer binges or what do you call it um ah, just shopping for beer you know mm -hmm. and i haven't been able to find it hmm. i would think it's, it's got to be there you might just maybe they're temporarily out of stock but they gotta sell it there i mean that's a gotta, national beer it's gotta be all, all over the place it's we, gotta be all over the place right like yeah. it, i just for some reason I, i've not been able to find it so <clears throat> if anyone else is having the same problem yeah let me know 
because and so how's the PBR going down today oh it's going down okay now you, you have noticed I mean the last couple of weeks I've had beer with corks in it you know like high flute and high priced expensive beers well you know with the recent market volatility you know I've, I've had the I've, you know my portfolio has taken a hit so I've got to go back to PBR <laughs> and have the can <laughs> Oh, hey, Mark, I want to ask you. No, no more uh, no more beer with corks in it. Because as you know, I don't really keep up with the news too much. But <clears throat> I did hear on my pod, one of my podcasts, they were talking something about the Dow Jones is taking a huge hit. Mm -hmm. So what, it, do you know a little bit about it? What What is going on? Update me, if you will. Oh, I think it's a few things. But uh, China, China devalued their currency. So, you know, the Chinese economy has been a huge, a huge thing. So everybody's so just China, kind of, China devalued its own currency, its own currency okay. to make it more competitive. Okay. Um, and, but that indicates that their market, you know, that their economy is slowing down, which everybody's freaking out about. So that, that, that's part of it, I think. And then Greece, that whole thing with Greece, you know, the bailout, well, they're not doing that. And so people are just, I think it's just uh, a lot of people just worrying that, you know, we're going to go into another recession or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been, it's been kind of pretty, uh, pretty large amount of loss in the last week or so, but you know, it's, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to be in there for a while, I, I wouldn't do anything. I just keep your money there. So just stay there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, you know, it's, <clears throat> Once I settle into my house and do all of that, uh, you know, I want to do some serious investing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but well, you guys, you guys, have, you guys have a, uh, we have a pension through, through oh, the union, yeah. right? And yeah. Do they offer? Do they offer like a 401k or any type of thing on top of that? The company offers a 401k that they don't contribute to, so you can. Uh, okay. Put money into it. Uh, I, they, they don't can, do any match. They don't match any contribution oh. or anything. Okay. All right. Because no. I figure you've got the the uh, union pension. Yeah, you got your pension, and then there's different. You know, uh, depending on what, <clears throat> all our pensions aren't created equal. So you have mm -hmm. the east. It's divided in three sections. You have the eastern, you have the central, and then you have the western. Okay. And fortunately for me, the western has always been the strongest. Oh, okay. So our pensions the most secure. Okay, so your um, your pension out of the out of the three for the company is the the closest to actually being funded. Right. <laughs> Have enough assets to pay its liabilities. Exactly. Huh? Yeah, yeah, they've they've invested that money smartly mm -hmm. or smarter mm -hmm. and uh uh yeah, so it's the strongest definitely mm -hmm. by a long shot of the yeah. uh, of the three. So yeah, the the east has been oh the those poor guys, man, they, they, it's been mismanaged to all hell. And yeah. the central, you know, I think things might be getting better. I, I don't know. I, I'm not too into finance. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you, you know a lot more about that than I do. But I just know what they tell me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I barely remember it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, what, you know, all I know is that they tell me the West is the strongest. You guys are good. And I'm like. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, yeah. So that's uh, I, I and I keep hearing it from other people that are in the know, right? Mm -hmm. We have guys that are uh, serious, serious, hardcore investors, man. Mm -hmm. At work, you know that. I mean, they they think finance. That's all they think about. You know, it's mm -hmm. all they talk about. Some money get kind of gets on my nerves, but yeah, you know, when you have people, then they're just you know, they just well, you know, I mean, but they just talk money, just like, uh, like money's the most important thing to them on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just like, you know, just like people that are into slug embryos and cleaning their sneakers. I, I'm know? saying like cleaning sneakers, you know, uh, and customizing sneakers mm -hmm. is the most important thing on the earth. It actually is probably, you know, mm -hmm. I know there's people that, 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 uh, treat gaming like it's the most important thing on the earth mm -hmm. uh i was talking to my bartender when i was over there uh sunday having a few drinks and they had a few screens on poker and, mm -hmm. and um <clears throat> and we always we always buzz jokes 
when I'm in there, uh, you know, on, on them showing poker. I'm like, mm -hmm. so slow sports night, huh? When you, <laughs> when you got to show poker on World Series of Poker type <laughs> stuff that they're showing on TV? Yeah. Okay. That's what they end up showing, right? Oh. I'm like, uh, no baseball, no, there's nothing. Hmm. We're down to poker, wow. <laughs> you know? I tell them the only thing worse than watching poker on TV is like going there to watch them play. <laughs> like, uh, actually being at that casino yeah. and sitting there yeah, watching watch guys play poker. Stuff on TV, but I I tried watching poker and I'm like, what's you know, what's the point? I mean that's <sighs> you know, a lot of people would say the worst thing to watch on TV is like golf or bowling. I think I watch both golf and bowling. That's fine. That's much better than poker. I don't understand. Yeah. You know, maybe quilting. That might be. I don't know if there's like quilting shows, but I wouldn't watch a quilting show either. Yeah, like my mom. No offense was, to the quilters out there, but yeah, because you know. yeah, my mom's like hardcore East Side, West Side. Uh, you know, quilter thug, right? Do they have. Uh, do they have drive-by quilting? <laughs> 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 yeah, they, they they have uh you know they'll needle you to death. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. You know they 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 can poke you with those things. They have different. Yeah, those are big needles too, man. Yeah, do some damage. Yeah. Do serious damage with those things, you know. The <laughs> and and they they know how to you know stitch you and everything. So mm -hmm. yeah, it, it could just be brutal. It could it could be awful. So your mom is a big quilter. Does she oh, quilter? huge man! That lady can do yeah. some stuff, man. You got a friend who's big into quilting and she just that's her life i mean outside of work yeah you know when she's not working she's quilting or thinking about quilting. she probably thinks about quilting when she's at work oh yeah well she's she doesn't have as much stuff right now as when she did when she was living with me mm -hmm. in my house but uh oh yeah she had one whole closet uh with shelves and just all the material you could ever think of you know mm -hmm. uh she has <clears throat> videotapes books mm -hmm. uh websites uh groups that she meets uh for quilting yeah it's the only reason i know so much about quilting is because of my mother you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying because i she would ask me you know can you find something on youtube for you know, oh yeah sure i'll find it mom you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. Yeah, dear God, there's like a whole actually, and then my lawyer, it turned out uh she was a huge quilter. Oh wow. A closet and, quilter? Yeah, and, and what was what was funny was that yeah, that's kind of how we would get along a little bit so well was because uh, to relax, my lawyer would quilt and, and I would, Oh, you should see my mom's stuff. So I would send her pictures and little messages from my mom and they would send these messages through me back and forth. And, uh, well, since my lawyer was a lawyer, hello, mm -hmm. uh, she had those really fancy, expensive machines that she could quilt. Oh, okay. With. And so some of her quilting was amazing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. She had the, she had the gear and the knowledge on how to use the gear, which we talk about in photography all the mm -hmm. time. Yeah, and it's not just having the gear, but you got to know how to use it. <laughs> you got to know how to use it, you know. Uh, it, it, and in their case, the gear can make all the difference in the world. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but there's still no substitute for the old school uh, manual gear, right? Yep. Which is. Needle and thread, <laughs> yeah. you know, which is my mom. My mom just prides herself on doing everything totally from scratch, from hand. Mm -hmm. So Bum That's is cool. saying that uh, Sam Adams Light is definitely the best light beer. Mm -hmm. That still does not mean I'll drink it, though. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I... I I, I drink it. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll drink uh, almost anything. We had a conversation uh, at the bar as well about about uh, uh, the bartender really likes malt liquor. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you admit that, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. He's like, now, now, now you get this sense, right? Like we always know there's people that buy 30 packs of Milwaukee's best ice right mm -hmm. uh just the 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 most watered down beer you could have because they just want to get hammered right yeah yeah now with that kind of mentality this is where he comes from he's like look 
if I buy a 40 of Ole, right? And he's like, then that's all I'll drink. But mm -hmm. if I buy a 18 pack, I'm going to drink the 18 pack. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so he's like, I want to get my buzz on. So mm -hmm. I, I buy the malt liquor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 140 yeah. and one and done pretty much. One yeah. and done. You know? So I was yeah. like, Okay, whatever it takes for you to manage that, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> I'm like, that is like, amazing. Like ounce. Well, OE is what? Is it like seven and a, seven to eight percent, something like I, that? I have no knowledge of what that. What so that, a forty yeah. ounce of that, yeah, that's you know, yeah, you drink a forty of that, yeah, you know, you'll be you'll be happy for a while. Yeah, you know, you know it would I, take like it would take like. Four, four or five, you know, probably five or six old Milwaukee's, you know, to equal that. To, you have to drink at least a six pack old Milwaukee to get the equivalent of 140 of, of old English. Yeah, you know, well, plus, you know, coming from that point of, you know, where, where, you know, you, you got your guys that are out there for the taste of stuff, right? Like, we really appreciate, we just love beer and everything about beer so mm -hmm. you know the the you know we like the hops we like to know where stuff is grown uh all that all those little details right but when you like beer just from i you know beer enables me to get hammered mm -hmm. point of view and i aim to get hammered right now uh you know i guess you would uh just want to manage that by getting a 40 instead of the whole case yeah you know? <laughs> Um, one, one large can versus a <clears throat> whole box of beer, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I still don't know if I would do the forty. I told him, what about just like a couple of tall boys, uh, uh -huh. you know, a couple of twenty-four ounces of Bud mm -hmm. Light or something, you know? And, you know, like, well, he just he likes more liquor, so yeah, so forty, yeah, you know, that's uh, I did. <laughs> Man, I did I did the Mickey's I did the Mickey's uh, little grenades, you know the little the little Mickey's green glass bottles. Yeah. They look like little hand grenades. They're like I don't know eight or nine, ten ounces each or something like that. That was that was enough. I did I did three of those, and that was. How my, long ago was that? How long ago was, was that? Like Two thousand ten. Remember that guy oh. Odeed? Yeah, <clears throat> he, he, had the, he had the challenge where you, you do the Mickey the malt liquor challenge, and he'd send you a craft beer or something. Yeah, yeah. So I did it. And I couldn't find a forty because they didn't sell any forties in the store. So I bought a I bought a six pack of the Mickey's, and I was it three or four. So I I drank four of them, I think, which ended up being like forty four ounces. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> He did send some good beer. I mean, he sent some quality oh, yeah. beer, and it was oh, well yeah. worth it. But oh man, did I! It was not a. It wasn't. I wasn't a hungover, but it it just it wasn't a overall real good experience. I'd much rather drink a nice, a good quality craft beer. You know. <laughs> oh, Deeds. He was. He's another one, right? He 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 likes his malt liquors. You know, for mm -hmm. some reason. Now, I remember we had that one show ages ago already that we tried to find the best tasting malt liquor and i think we agreed that it was mickey's yeah of the malt liquors mickey's. yeah only because it they you know they had the most sugar in their beer <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Probably. it was uh, it, it was the one full of the most corn i guess <laughs> yeah <laughs> like yeah i mean they were all bad mickey's oh. was the best was bad Mickey's is tolerable, but tolerable. I don't know. I mean, I was in the I was in the beer store over the weekend, um, and a guy was buying. He had he like bought out the whole, you know, the whole door. You know, they got the the the, the coolers, and it's like a, a three foot section. He like bought out the whole door worth of malt liquor. He had four or five Old English. He had some some Schlitz high gravity stuff. He had. Um, what else? Oh, he had some four loco in there. I mean, I don't know what he was doing. He's gonna have like we, a malt liquor party or something. We, we, know. they do have some 
new stuff since we last did that show ages ago already. Yeah. There, yeah, I ain't going there, dude. The no, malt liquor, the malt liquor is the one. I, I was even half giving it a thought of maybe doing a malt liquor show, but it ain't gonna happen because no. I would do a sour show before I would do a malt liquor. Yeah, show. I, and I, it's I, like I can sour. appreciate what goes in into a sour, yeah. why why it is a sour. Mm-hmm. Malt liquor is just like I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. It it's um, the only reason for it, for it for it to exist is to just get drunk really fast. <laughs> and that's basically who I mean, you know, everything else, craft beer, wine, you can get drunk really fast doing that too. Yeah. But yeah. At, at least there's some other reason for drinking it. It's it's got good flavor, you know, it, yeah. it's whatever. Malt liquor is just I mean, it makes no excuses. I mean, I guess it's just like it's honest. It's like <laughs> here I am, you know. No, I'm not. Well, it's it's, I'm not it's pretending it's, to be anything. I want to get drunk fastest and cheapest. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, fast and cheap. You know, fast and cheap go together as well. And, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 oh! But this was another thing. I guess there's pinky out type of uh, malt liquor drinkers because. Another discussion we had was, would you stoop to the level? Mind you, you're already at the level of malt liquor. Yeah. Would you stoop to the level of drinking your malt liquor out of a plastic bottle instead of a glass bottle? Well, it's in a bag anyway, so what's the difference? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, that's where I go, man. Are you kidding me? You're going pinky out on me now, dude? Like for Plastic real? Or glass? Well, like, you can get the cans too. You can get the forty ounce cans. Oh man, you can taste the difference, man. You can taste the difference. Yeah, that, crap that or plastic, crap? That, that <laughs> plastic bottle, man. You can taste it. You know. I'm like, I, like no. you, you, there's a sting. When you drink a malt liquor, okay. like whether this... it's plastic, <laughs> metal, or glass, <laughs> it's gonna sting you. You could, you could, you could disseminate between plastic and glass at this point. Like, oh, yeah. you know, wouldn't you want your malt liquor maker to ship your beer in plastic? That's more beer, cheaper. That's right. Yeah, you can get cheaper malt liquor. I mean, it's glass is a huge expense yeah. at, at that that's, point. I mean, that's like, like cans are even better than plastic. Cans are even better, right? Yeah, because now you're not, it's not clear. Mm -hmm. you know, you're actually yeah, you preserving. Want, you, don't want, you don't want to get your malt liquor skunked. I mean, you want to get them for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who wants skunky malt liquor? Yeah, right? really. Like, uh, uh -oh. you know, that, yeah, that is, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't want uh -oh. it skunked. Right, you uh, want to preserve yeah. that malt liquor greatness. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Now, speaking of greatness, Joe, you saw my post on Google Plus yesterday. Yes. 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 I've managed to resist temptation, and I am so jealous. So jealous. I, I have in my hands one. What is this? Um, seven ounce. No, oh, it's more than that. I think it's 10.7 oh, ounce ten, yeah. bag of brownie batter Oreos. And you Dude. can see up here it says limited edition. Yes, yes. And it, yes. they remain unopened. I when I posted that, I, I got them at lunch. I went to the public for lunch and I saw these. So, so they were sitting on my desk, tempting me. And I managed to hide them and I put them in the pantry and I, I've saved them until now. Oh, you okay, you reminded me. I'm gonna blow your ever living mind here in a second. Okay. Okay. So I got this, and then <clears throat> we were talking about that, and Sim, you know, on my show, said you need double chocolate stout. Oh, no, you didn't. I couldn't find it in the can. I went to three places. Well, one place had it in a can, but it was a year past the date. It was a really old can, so I didn't buy that. So I just got a <laughs> bottle of double chocolate stout, Ooh, that, yeah. a fresh bottle of double chocolate. Oh, yeah. It's not, oh, yeah. not a widget, but I figured that would be a good combination. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be good, I think. I think. Limited edition. <laughs> now, now, before I open this, we were talking like thirteen dollars a bag. Joe, what do you think? You want to give me thirteen bucks for this? I got this <laughs> it was like two for five bucks. Yeah, the lady at the Target said that there's people on Amazon buying 
those 10 ounce bags of the cookies for uh 13 bucks uh no nah, i paid two i'm just gonna eat them you know? I, you know they're making those limited edition bags are all smaller than hell yeah. like you you literally have i don't know how many cookies are in there what, what i don't is it? know it's 10.7 ounces so how many let's cookies see. do they say are in there because there's uh, not many cookies in there i swear to god serving yeah. size let's see here Serving size is two, so there's about 20 cookies. So it's like 13 cents a cookie. So that's not too bad. 20 cookies. Yeah. I think that's a pretty good match. But I'm going to pour the beer here. Let's see what we get. Now, this is not a widget bottle, if I remember right. Yeah, no, they're not widget bottles. Yeah, the cans are widgets. That's but... still a solid beer, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. So... But uh, the widget, the nitro widget would be even better. But, Even better, yeah. I I think so. But I wasn't. I saw a four pack of it, but it was like a year past the date. I'm like, <clears throat> nah, I'm not buying that. Now, do they have a Young's Double Chocolate Stout Light? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no. Can you make that a light version, right? Oh. Now, yeah. now, now the now the question mark is after seeing your pour, do you go head or no head with the dunk? I think I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going <laughs> a headless dunk. But you can yeah. tell it's a carbon it's carbon dioxide, not nitrogen. See how big the bubbles are? They're absolutely they're huge. It's like yeah. a sponge right there. Yeah. But, oh, I haven't had Young's Double Chocolate in a couple of years, and this is really, really good. My two favorite chocolate, I mean, pure chocolate stouts are going to be Young's Double Chocolate and Rogue Chocolate Stouts. Pretty good, too. Rogue is good. I also like that other uh, organic. Uh, oh, um, Samuel Smith. Samuel yeah. Smith. Yeah, that's a good one too. They're they're both English, right? And uh, I, I definitely Rogue has a good one. I'm mm -hmm. not going to, you know, but I think I would stay with the English on this particular. Yeah, I think so. All right, bum, you gonna offer me thirteen bucks for this? I say, I, open the tab? I, I say, bum ought to give you thirteen bucks for that. No, I am gonna be in. Oh, speaking of bum, I'm gonna be in Pittsburgh in a little bit, so maybe we need to get together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I could, I could say this for you if you want to pay me like thirty bucks. But... Yeah, you know, he could he could buy a case of them okay, and just. I'm, you know, I'm gonna you... open. I'm gonna open the easy open tab. Here it goes. I'm gonna spoil the limited edition bag. Ah, it's all ruined now. <laughs> Oh well. I love yes. that. It's like a, it's got a little little pocket opening there. Oh well, yeah, it, it, it's a beautiful thing, man. Oreos thinks of uh, they, oh. you know, Nabisco still, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. these smell so good. Oh, they smell just God. like brownies. Okay, so here we go. So do, do they literally smell like? Well, let's cover that part first. Did they literally? Oh. Now, now they smell really, really chocolatey. I mean, it's got a, it does have a brownie kind of, it's not just like pure chocolate. It's not like just straight up chocolate. It does have that. Or does it just smell like just, just super sweet? Just like. No, like it doesn't smell hard. super sweet. <clears throat> it smells different than a, definitely different than a regular Oreo. So are you getting any fudge in there? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Like a chocolate fudge mm -hmm. type sweet yeah. smell. Now I'm going to try this beer here. Oh, that's going to be a good pairing. Okay. Heck Here yeah. we go. Dipping away. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Brownie batter Oreos and Young's way, Double baby. Chocolate Stout. All the way, baby. <laughs> <laughs> right? You got to go deep when you go, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Very yeah. white. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Huh? Now you know where I'm coming from, man. We got a beer dunk, mm -hmm. right? Now yep. Mark's officially a beer dunker, man. I'm a beer dunker. He's a beer dunker. He Did has... you like Google that? If you Google beer dunker, or like people are into beer dunker. Oh my God, we I actually am going to do that. Let me see beer. Let's see what we get. Uh, dunk. Oh, okay. Cookie number two. Now you have to go a little longer with that one, right? No, oh, man, no. I'm gonna need the whole bag here if I'm not careful. Okay, what they're talking about is beer pong. Um, we can start a new category. 
beer dunk. Well, I've done that one beer dunk video. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make it a thing here. I need I need to put all my tags on that video, but yeah, I, I I'm gonna yeah we're gonna start a thing here because I, I think it is a thing like different beer things dunk. you could dunk in beer like with different beers. Yeah, we have to have fun with beer, man. Beers, oh, yeah. you know. Okay, so two cookies is 150 calories, of which 20 of it is carbs. You get a couple grams of fat. Okay, that's good. But it's mostly sugar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hello. That. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Now, Pam made me promise <clears throat> I wouldn't eat the whole box. That there would be some left. Because we have chocolate ice cream for dessert. So I think this would go good in chocolate ice cream. Too. Now, is Pam in town? Yes, she is. She is. Okay. Because I was going to say, look, you could get away with that by her technically saying that you were going to save some out of the box and it is a bag. That's true. So, so you're yeah. like, uh, since you were go all Bill Clinton on her and say, yeah, What's your you definition know, box? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, I had the, I had the chocolate stout here. The bag was here. You said box. Yeah. Ah, uh, no. you no, know, these are, these are really good. I, I mean, I haven't had Oreos in a, a couple years at least. But see, you keep hearing me talk about Oreos, yep. so it's like, uh, yeah, you know, the, you, you, you know, everyone that's around me gets like, why are oh, yeah. you so nuts about Oreos? And I'm like, dude, when you were a kid, yeah, you were a kid, you see them dunking the, you know, they yeah. separate the Oreo mm -hmm. and then they lick the Oreo, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, like these are really good. The brownie batter Oreos, they do taste like brownie batter. I will give them the, we'll give them that. So they do actually. Yeah. Do do they happen to have any chips in them? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, yeah. I think it's just a artificially no. chocolate flavored cream filling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't care. Give me all the adjunct Oreos you want. Um, what the ingredient list am, is. I am, I am all about the official riboflavin. Let's see what else. So there's actual wheat in that. In that yeah, there's yeah, for the cookie dough. Yeah, cocoa. High fructose corn syrup, that's a quality ingredient. <laughs> yeah. Cornstarch, leavening, baking soda, and or calcium propanate, salt, soy lactose. Okay, yeah, it's got a good mix. But, you know, the key is it does have the high fructose corn syrup, so. I don't give a rip what they have to do to get there. Just get there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just get there. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not into the sausage making. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just give me the sausage. There's just the, no judgment here. Mm -hmm. Now, Bum says that uh, he just had lemon Oreos and Reese's peanut butter cup Oreos oh. in those same packs. Uh, didn't dunk them in anything, oh. though. Now, yeah. now, uh, Bum, 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 Bum. Oh, really? now, now, you have to at least dunk them in some in some 2% or whole milk, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, at a minimum. Yeah. We do have some milk, so I am going to dunk a couple more, but I'm going to eat one more just straight up. Well, I'm going to take it apart. Yes, right? take it apart. Let's see it. Let's see the inside, baby. Uh, yeah. Mm. So they didn't make that one a two-tone Oreo. That's, that's no, a... no, it's just straight up chocolate. Mm. Good stuff. Mm. Oh, man. I'm so jealous. Now, someone did post on my post and said that... Uh, uh, they did find those in my area, so I'm on a mission. Mm -hmm. I'll probably. They're, they're very good. They're very good. They, they they're supposed to clean my. <clears throat> How do you say this without giggling? They're supposed to come clean my carpet tomorrow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they left me a note. They go come clean my carpet. <laughs> <laughs> so while I'm coming down from that high, maybe I'll go look for uh, <laughs> some uh, brownie Oreos. Yeah, no, they are very good. I like them better than regular Oreos. Now, the chocolate, the chocolate filling is is tastier. It's more real. It's more artificially real tasting. Oh, now he says he was driving when he ate them. So oh, okay. Uh, okay, I'll give him a pass no dunking and driving. Yeah, no, hey. 
Hey, you might damage your Oreos that way, and That's you right. do not want to damage a limited right. edition. Do not want to damage Oreos. No I don't know how Oreos. limited edition though the uh, lemon and Reese's peanut because you can get those pretty much yeah. all the places. This is probably the last only bag I'll ever get of these brownie. Now, where where did you get those? Did you get them at a grocery store? I got them at Publix grocery okay. store. Uh. A little unusual, I think. I, I've I've had to like search different of uh, the big stores like Walmart or Super Targets uh, to find and, my. And I just like stump. I didn't. I wasn't looking for them. I was just like walking because they were in the same aisle as the uh, like the nuts. I was walking down there. I was gonna get some peanuts or something to have as a huh. snack, and I saw the Oreos, and I'm like, "Oh, Oreos! I wonder what they have." And then yeah, so you were walking down. Two dollars and fifty cents later, I had myself. Pushing the car, huh, huh, huh. and you're and, and and the Orioles were like, <clears throat> "Hey, baby," and you, went, whoa, whoa, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. happened. That's what happened right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, they are good. They are very good. Brownie <laughs> batter Oreos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's nothing like some chocolate in your mouth, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever it takes. Yeah, whatever it takes. Yeah. The um, here I've got something that'll blow your mind too. Now remember, I had the cotton candy Oreos, right? Mm -hmm. Those were actually good. Pretty darn sweet. You could only eat so many. But uh, cotton candy Oreos. Yeah, mm. those were those were okay. I have some other Oreos here that I'll I'll, I'll sample on the show. I've I've already been making everyone else sample them. Now with that in mind, though, okay, I've got. <clears throat> I've got something else here that I found in my local grocery store. Okay, now here, here we go. I, I already spoiled it. I, I already opened the package and everything. So the caramel apple mm -hmm. Oreos here, mm -hmm. vanilla cookie, um, two tone Oreo. So you have the standard uh, vanilla cookie, mm -hmm. and then uh, it looks like that on the sides, uh, kind of. Okay. Yeah. Then when you when you when you split it, then it looks you okay, know. So you got the, the green is the apple, I'm assuming. Right. And yeah. Caramel is the other one. Okay. Now you're gonna have a hard time discern discerning between those flavors, but uh, <laughs> it just tastes like pure sugar. But mm -hmm. it they, they are good. Uh, they do. I do appreciate the uh, vanilla cookie. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to also have these with the chocolate cookie, though. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, those would be good. Yeah. Now this cookie dunks like a sieve, man. I don't have any milk anymore, but um, yeah, with some, I I, I tend to drink two percent, mm -hmm. and so uh, yeah, with some two percent milk mm -hmm. and like a five second dunk, all the way, <clears throat> all the way, baby. Hey, you know, Full I like dunk. to. I'm now. How do you dunk now? There's you want to talk about I to go you, about halfway. You want to talk about a religion. Now that's a religion. The Oreo dunk. We could do shows on my friend. Yeah. Now now that is a religious thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you go you're a half dunker. Yeah, because I figure if I dunk half, then half is like kind of like moist and, <laughs> and then, but then I got the other half that's like Firm and yeah. I get, I get, I get, I get both. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes if you don't, I want to have just falls off. <laughs> it goes into your into your drink, like into, yeah. your, into your beer, or into your right. milk. Yeah. And then, but then at least you got the other half that is still it's, real. It's, it's still good to go, right? It's still good to go. Yeah. So, so I'm like okay. hedging my bets. Now, uh, well, well, so just covering the dunk part, right? The initial dunk part. So I'm a, all the way dunker. I, 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 I submerge mine all the way. Okay. Right? Uh, now, how long do you dunk? It's probably just like three or four seconds. Oh, okay. See, I'm dunking. It's all I can handle is about three or four seconds, and then that's. And then that's it. Yeah, I'm uh till the bubbles disappear, dunker. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, it'll make it, it'll you you dunk and then you see the initial rush of bubbles coming from mm-hmm. the top. Like, oh no, oh I can't breathe anymore. What are you doing to me? Yeah, bitch, suffer, suffer. <laughs> <laughs> you just leave it there. Suffer, suffer. Why he gets there? Is some kind of group? Am I gonna get in trouble for that? Like. <laughs> Google, Google might, but who knows? No, no. <clears throat> Bum is on to something. There should be a collaboration here between uh, Wendy's and, and Nabisco where we can have Baconator Oreos. I, 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 seriously, I think bacon, like maple bacon Oreos. Oh. Now, what, now, what cookie do they go there? Do they go vanilla or do they go chocolate? I would probably go vanilla. I would go vanilla. Or do they go both? Some 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 are kind of both. They have both. Yeah. I'd go vanilla with maple bacon in the middle. Yeah. 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 yeah that yeah. might be a good yeah. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Maple bacon Oreos and, and put real bacon well now. That, oh, that's that. asking a bit too yeah. much. Yeah. Real bacon. Real artificial Real now, looking artificial bacon chips. Now that would be a thirteen dollar bag of Oreos right there if mm-hmm. they if they did that. If they did something like that, it, that's going to be an expensive bag of Oreos. They could get together with uh, Voodoo Donut, you know, do, do the uh, maple bacon Oreo. <laughs> okay, you forced me to look it up. I got to look it up because it sounds like that has got to be a thing already, right? I would think. All I know is when, when we were in Oregon, I, I walked by a few times the uh, Voodoo Donut there, and there was always like this monstrous line. I'm like, I'm not standing in line for an hour to get a donut. So, oh, so I know, I know, I didn't have a, I didn't have a, a, a Voodoo Donut. Okay, it's a thing, but this is what people are doing. It's a thing, but it's not official. So okay. it's it's kind of not a thing, right? Uh, so here's the screen. <clears throat> See, so people are wrapping their Oreos and being and then frying them in bacon. Oh, well, that's not bad. That's not a bad thing, but it's not an official no Oreo. I have heard of these though. These fried chicken. Have you heard of those? Yeah, cheeseburger. Cookie dough, watermelon. I've seen the watermelon. I've had the watermelon. Really? I've had the watermelon. You've had watermelon Oreos? Dude, a spam Oreo? No, thank you. No, I'm completely good. That I see cheeseburger Oreos. There's Are those cheese- real? They really have cheeseburger Oreos? Dude, they have some crazy flavors. Now, don't no, this is what I love about talking Oreos because uh, they're they're worldwide, right? So yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, they're they're the Coca Cola of cookies, right? Oh, so yeah. they have these different flavors in different parts of the world, and Tokyo's or whatever Japan seems to have the craziest flavors. I wouldn't doubt if this cheeseburger is from that part. Mm-hmm. I see the cotton candy. I've had those. I've had the red velvet. Mm-hmm. Uh, ooh, Blizzard. Mm. I've had the birthday cake. That seems to be pretty common. See, here's the fried chicken. Fried chicken Oreo. Oh. Dude, that should be big in the south. <gasps> okay, limeade. Look at this. Marshmallow crispy Oreo. Oh. And then you did a limeade and dip that in a limerita. Yes. That's a perfect pairing. Mm-hmm. Look at this one. This is an Oreo challenge. 14 flavors. That's a challenge. Wow. Mm-hmm. Root beer float Oreo. Mm-hmm. Ice cream I Oreo. I see bacon cream Oreo. There's bacon cream. I wonder how official that is. I think that's mm-hmm. something someone made. S'mores. I've had the s'mores. Okay. God, I've had quite a few of these. Ooh, that sounds good. Dosa de, le- de-, de-, de- leche. leche. Uh huh. Yep. It's like that condensed milk Oreo. Mm-hmm. Ooh, creamsicle Oreo. Mm hmm. Candy corn Oreo. Candy corn. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's the, it's the season two. Pumpkin spice. You know, we were having a conversation about pumpkin beers, yep, right? Mm-hmm. And in in one of the cases, when I went to the grocery store, uh, you know, because it's not just beer, 
right? Mm -hmm. Now, pumpkin spice comes out earlier and earlier for all sorts of stuff. Now, I'm also into coffee. Now, there is a whole case full of pumpkin whatever creamers right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, early. I mean, it, I don't know that it ever stops. Yeah, it's, no. it's so in demand. I don't know that that you can't get some sort of pumpkin whatever creamer year round now. No, I think you probably can. Yeah. Now, it, it? It, it, there was a whole, literally, a, a, one of those big wide cases just full of different pumpkin whatever you can imagine creamers huh. for your coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, now. Last five minutes of the show. Kept you in suspense. Here we go. I didn't know these existed until this past Monday when I was in the store. Yesterday. I'm, I'm over there at the lettuce. I'm in the produce section. I'm looking at the lettuce. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. I'll get some romaine. Okay. All of a sudden, I hear some dude. Some random dude. Kind of looked a little bummish, actually, but whatever. Mm -hmm. And he all of a sudden, oh, my God. He shouts like that, right? That's going to get you to turn your neck a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have much of a neck. So for me to turn, it was an effort, right? Yeah. So I, I turn. And he's all, dude, you got to try these. And, all right. So then, you know, I got my attention. So I go over there. Check this out. Boom. Oh, cotton candy grapes. Grapes. Oh. They literally, you put, I put one in my mouth, okay? I went over there, reached in the bag, grabbed one, put one in my mouth. I could not believe it. They taste just like cotton candy. Oh, wow. They literally do. And so I've been, I took a bunch to work last night and gave some to my boss, gave some to all kinds of people. Like, what are you getting? What are you getting? What do you think? You know, without telling them they were cotton candy. And some people got cotton candy. Some people just got the really sweet. Mm-hmm. But then when you show them their uh, cotton candy, then uh, yeah, that's exactly what holy that's crap. Like. Yeah, it's just really cool. Um, it says it's a product of the of the USA. Okay. Uh, let me see. I haven't even read the label yet. Cotton candy grapes are really, really do taste like cotton candy. Uh, what a fun, healthy way uh, to enjoy everyone's. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sustainably grown non-gmo it right. doesn't say much on here it doesn't because the other side is all in another language hmm. um it doesn't tell me exactly where they're grown it just says they're they're from the usa okay um but i i have never even heard of such a thing so uh, apparently oh. now there's different flavored grapes oh yeah uh Cotton candy grapes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh oh yeah, yeah. Bum says potential show title. I submerge mine all the way. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that, man. Um yeah, I had no idea that was a thing. And and they they are I ain't kidding you. And they're the they're the biggest, juiciest they're a little lighter than my standard green grapes because I've been uh -huh. I stopped buying um strawberries. Yep. I just couldn't hang with it anymore. Uh, and they're lighter than my standard green grapes that I've been buying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they keep better in my lunch. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. grapes do than strawberries. Oh, yeah. No, strawberries get bruised and, mm -hmm. yeah, they get beat up really quick. But they they are really sweet. It almost tastes like they injected each one of them with cotton candy or something, some sort <laughs> of sugar. But it's a trip because... They're very firm. Mm -hmm. The skin is very firm. The um, meat inside is kind of medium. Mm -hmm. And they're just really juicy and super, like, cotton candy sweet. Wow. Huh. By far the sweetest grape I've had. Huh. And they're really good. Like, uh, but But they still have that. The skin still has that little bit of a bitterness to it that green mm -hmm. grapes have. You know, green okay, grapes yeah. have that little yeah, slight. Little, little tangy stuff, yeah. Yeah, tangy. Yeah, more tangy. Yeah, not, not mm -hmm. bitter, but tangy, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But uh, I just thought I, I've, I've been sharing that with everybody. I took a bunch to work last night and was mm-hmm. like, you got to try these. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, they were like, what the hell did you get those? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. If that guy wouldn't have made such a scene, I still wouldn't know about him. You yeah. Know? But he was in there making a huge scene about it. So, yeah, which kind of fits the kind of crazy that he looks like because he does look kind of crazy. But <laughs> I'm glad he was. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't have found them. And now that I found them, it kind of got me curious about a lot of other stuff. Like, is there apples that have different flavors other than yeah. just apple? Like, I've been buying. I'm really kind of into apples, too. I buy because uh, I, I like a sweet, juicy apple. Mm-hmm. And so I've been buying different, like, I don't know if they're exotic apples, but just different kinds of the more expensive apples. Like, right now, I've got a bunch of ambrosias. Uh, okay. those, those cost me about two or 30 a pound or something, okay, 250 a pound. Uh, and then I buy the uh, Pink Ladies. Um, okay. And those are 269 or so a pound. That's not too bad. But, uh, uh, yeah. These are really sweet, too, but they're good. And they dunk well. And you can taste a caramel kind of taste from the caramel apple ones. Okay. Well, yeah, they do at least a little bit taste like a caramel apple. Okay. You know? No, I'm I'm really impressed with these brownie batter ones. They definitely taste like brownie batter. Uh, if I see any of the other limited edition ones, I'm probably going to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've covered Oreos thoroughly, yep. you know, those pumpkin spice ones – might not be too bad. Creamsicle would be delicious. Mm-hmm. I've had the watermelon. The watermelon's really good. Uh, you do have different flavor. Uh, oh, yeah, someone has a, a made-up thing here, buffalo wing Oreos. Uh, but, yeah, they do have tons and tons of different flavors of Oreos, so it's, uh, you know, a lot of fun to sample all the different Oreos. Mm-hmm. Um I, I don't know exactly how many different flavors there are, but you know, apparently there's a that challenge, fourteen different flavors. So that's, that's a lot of cookies. That's a lot of damn cookies, exactly. And with that many different flavors, um, yeah, there's got to be something for everybody there, right? Like. Uh, mm-hmm. Certain ones you can't get in your area. Hey, thanks, Mark, for jumping in, man. I appreciate it. Hey, hey. Um, I appreciate you jumping in too, man. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Don't <clears throat> get too crazy with the uh, cotton cake. If you can get these in your area, try them. They're well, I'll or, uh, check them out at the grocery store because I. How much does a good job with the produce? So if they're available, they probably have them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're really interesting, man. That. It's a, it's like how do they do that? You know what I'm saying? I, I it's got to be well, of course, that something when they grow it, right? Mm-hmm. They're doing something to them when they when they're growing them because they're they're plumper, really crispy, and sweet as all hell. It's a trip, but oh well. Um, if you can find them, if anything, try them in the store when you're there. You know, mm-hmm. see yeah. if you like them, but. Uh, and get your Oreos. <laughs> mm-hmm. Get your Oreos and your double chocolate stout. Dip yes. away. Yes. It, you know, maybe in the South you can find the fried chicken uh, Oreos. That, I, don't that, know. I, don't, I don't have to look for that. That would be interesting. Now, that would be interesting. Now, now really quick, would you go milk dunk with a, a fried chicken Oreo? Would that be appropriate? I would do buttermilk. Oh, buttermilk. <laughs> Because that's what they make the batter out of a lot of times is buttermilk it is, batter. It is. Yeah, I do buttermilk. Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe, right? Yeah, because buttermilk. Ooh. No, barbecue sauce. I mean, if you're going to do fried chicken, you could do, do, make, a, make yourself up a nice barbecue sauce. Hot sauce. Hot, hot sauce. sauce. Frank's Red Hot. Yes, like you got to go Frank's. Uh, if, if, if you get uh, fried chicken Oreos, right. I mean, it's, it, you would have to do it, you mm-hmm. know, 
if it's a true fried chicken taste, then then you would have to have hot sauce, right? Yeah, I would think. You know, I would think, or the cookie would have to taste like a hot. That's it. So the inside would taste like the chicken, and then the cookie would taste like the hot sauce, right? It would have to. It would have to be. That'd be the perfect pairing. Yep. Okay, we so. solved that. <laughs> okay, Mark. Thanks, man. Right. Thanks, thanks, man. We'll see you, man. Thanks, Peace man. Out. See ya. Bye.